Razo, Indiana, by Dennis and Kevin Lacomey's Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois, trained by Irv Miller, the driver Dave McGee. 1A is Odd Flight, owned by Mystical Marker Farms, Dirk Simpson of Sherman, Tom Pollard of Danville, trained by Dirk Simpson, the driver is Michael Osting. Number two, GT's Defiance, owned by Richard, Rick, and Arlene Flacco's Flacco Family Farms of Alexis. Joel Miller trains, and Joel Miller is the driver. Number three, Tribulation Force, owned by David Jenks of Winona Lake, Indiana. The trainer is Amanda Smith. The driver is Dale Heitman. Number four, Stay and Fight, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by Irvin Miller. His brother, Andy Miller, is in the race bike. Number five, Moody Annie, is owned by Stanley Crow of Lebanon, Ohio. The trainer is Jonathan Crow, and the driver is Ohio native Brent Holland. And number six, Cheyenne is scratched. Post time in less than three minutes. Less They're at the post. The gate's rolling for the third at DuCoin. Here they come for this elimination of the Shawnee Sticks for two-year-old trotting fillies. They're off and trotting, stay and fight, goes out for the early lead. Savannah Silk is right there, and Tribulation Force now moves in down toward the rail to get the advantage, heading into the first turn. Tribulation Force against the rail, leads it by a length and a half. Savannah Silk settles into the second position. GT's Defiance goes third by two. Stay and fight is now fourth toward the inside. Everyone single file. Moody Annie is next to last, another two and a half back to Odd Flight, who is the trailer. At the quarter, Tribulation Force is on top by a length and a half. 29 seconds for the opening panel. Savannah Silk goes second by one length as they move up the back stretch. Then GT's Defiance, who is followed by Stay and Fight, Moody Annie, and then Odd Flight, who trails. No one moving out of line as they approach the half. Tribulation Force shows the way, winner of the State Fair Consolation Race a couple of weeks ago at Springfield. It is Savannah Silk in second. GT's Defiance third, then Stay and Fight. Moody, Annie, and Odd Flight, the field well bunched, single file past the half mile mark in a minute, one fifth. It is Tribulation Force who shows the way by a length. Savannah Silk is racing in second. Here comes Stay and Fight. Stay and Fight with a flourish goes from fourth to the lead in the matter of a few strides, and Moody, Annie is trying to move up in third on the outside around the final turn. Stay and Fight bursting to the lead by three lengths at the three quarters. And it is Tribulation Force who's second by a half length and is joined by Moody Annie on the outside who takes second by a head. Savannah Silk comes off the rail from fourth, but she is racing a good six lengths off the leader. Three quarters and one thirty and two fifths. Stay and fight. Leads it by four lengths off the final turn. Tribulation Force tussling with Moody Annie and Savannah Silk. That's a three-way shuffle for second. Final eighth mile. Stay and fight. Has the lead by three. Savannah Silk down the center of the track. And Moody Annie getting to the leader a bit. It is stay and fight. Moody Annie. Savannah Silk keeps coming on. Savannah Silk in the center of the track. Savannah Silk keeps moving. Savannah Silk gets it three parts of a length from stay and fight, who was second. And Moody Annie was third in two minutes and one-fifth. Well, we told you that Dave McGee was the leading driver of the week at the DuCoin State Fair last year. He's in the winner's circle for today's third race, the unofficial winner of this elimination of the Shawnee, number one, Savannah Silk. Dave McGee with the winning drive. Tom Shin of Newton bred this hoist the Yankee two-year-old filly, trained by Irvin Miller for owners Jack and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana. And Dennis and Kevin Lacomey's Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois. See if we can grab a word with Dave McGee. Dave, come on up here. You're no stranger to this strip of real estate at DuCoin. You were way back on that last turn, at least a good five or six lengths off the leader. Did you expect to be that far back at the three-quarter? No, really, I thought uh, Tribulation Force would be the horse to beat in there. So I thought I was sitting in a good spot. And when Andy came with his filly, she had a lot of trot. I really didn't think we could catch her. Uh, but this filly just kept trotting, and uh, the other one kind of waited on her a bit in the stretch, and uh, she, she finished on top, so she was, it was a good effort. 
Folks, those of you in the stands who are not familiar with harness racing, but perhaps know livestock of another breed, if you are in the dairy cattle business, this man knows that side of livestock as well. Dave grew up on a dairy farm in Wisconsin. Dave, it's good to have you with us again here at DeGoyne. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, Kurt. You do a great job. Dave McGee, ladies and gentlemen, he's our winning driver. The rundown is next.